So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. On first down, Hill. And, oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. A good pick up there, 26 yards. It's got to the point where we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers, too. Yeah, yeah tight end one-handed catches. They're kind of like wide receiver one-handed catches nowadays. Just not right. Give them a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. He's back to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos 40. First down now, but the clock continues to move. He'll now to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Von Miller in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. He'll look to throw. He hits his running back, Jay Ajayi. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. Partner, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. Mike, 45. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. They'll look to throw. And he locates Walker. Complete. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Hill now operating from the red zone. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Corey Davis, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Try to squeeze it in there at this stage of the game. You got to take some chances. Nice job to knock it away, though. You're so right. Understanding where they are in the game, you've got to take that opportunity and maybe thread the needle. Unable to get it done there. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This defense making some plays right now, aren't they? And they look like a group that really locked in before this series started. Read their scouting reports, got back to reading their keys, and playing with excellent leverage up front. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they look to throw. This will be caught by Brown. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to potentially send us to overtime. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalposts. And that will tie this game here in the final minute. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, Henry. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. That was good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Now a first throw here in overtime, escaping the pressure right. And he'll hit his tight end, Walker. And taking we it across this. midfield and inside the 45. Little OT scramble drill that time, Wait Mr. Davis. And partner, Davis. I can tell you from personal experience, Double Double nothing down. drives a Double defense down. crazier than having things covered and the quarterback takes off and picks up a first down or big yardage. Because whether Come you're on, in folks. zone or man, 
it's easy to lose track of him because you don't Go always now. have someone Andrew assigned to him. Fox. And once he Who's goes, now everybody's scrambled to try and tackle him. They keep it with Henry on first down. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Todd Davis, the Broncos' leading tackler last year, up to make the stop. Now it's a Ajayi. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, sometimes it's a thing of beauty. The all-pro Von Miller there on the tackle. Hey, Delta. Find the mic. You ain't doing nothing today. You ain't doing nothing today. Hey, check my game. They'll try the air Let's now go, with Hill. Hill. It's gonna be a long day on this. And that is incomplete. Day. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this will be caught. It's a touchdown. And absolute stunned silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overtime. A partner, a great game that we got.